Okay, so like in previous videos, this is just an explanation of how I do it personally on the boat. There's a few setup things we should do when we're looking at upwind sailing. The first and most importantly in the strong wind is what you're doing with the downhaul. Very important that you've got the downhaul pulled on hard enough to flatten the sail. And then here we could see, as we're sailing along upwind, we're double trapezing, of course. We are lowering the trapeze down so you're as low as possible, uh, with the crew just slightly lower. And then we're using a combination of steering and main sheet for the gusts. This will bring up the debate of uh, why isn't the crew playing the main sheet, which is a very popular choice these days. Uh, on the boat when I'm sailing, I prefer to helm the boat and play the main sheet at the same time. But on a lot of boats, it is more efficient and effective for the crew to play the main sheet. So it really is just a choice of what you're more comfortable with and what works more efficiently for you. If you're sailing with the same person all of the time, then it's well worth having the crew get to grips with playing the main sheet so you can have the main coming in and out more readily. Very important to keep the main sheet absolutely cranked in as tight as possible as much as possible because that will help to flatten off the mainsail, making the boat more efficient and faster. Trying to keep rudder movements to a minimum, just allowing the boat to head up slightly in the gusts. If the gust is so much that to keep the boat under control, we would have to head up so much that the boat slows down, that's the time when we want to be easing main sheet as well. And just an armful of main sheet should suffice in that situation. After easing the main sheet, cranking it straight back in again afterwards to keep the mainsail flat. Even when the wind's very strong, if you are in a competitive situation, it's very important to keep the traveller central, unless you're a very light team and you really can't control the boat with the traveller in the middle, in which case you can just ease it out a little bit. But otherwise keep it central so that you can point as high or higher than the other boats around you. 